Hey guys, Pedro here to tell you about the latest from Wake, Thought Form, Descent, out July 22nd on Metal Blade Records. This album has 8 tracks, 47 minutes in length, and this is the band's 6 full length studio album. They are a Canadian black death metal band. This album is all about everything that it has to offer, and when you look at the structure as the starting point of any record, because it impacts the fluidity, impacts the playability of how the album comes across, this record is deeply affected by what they're trying to achieve from an overall experience point of view. They're trying to create a brutal record, but a record that's not one-dimensional. A record that's brutal across all of its different elements. And that brutality creates chaos. Chaos that becomes volatility within the walls of this album. But they were also able to add moments of self-reflection that ease a little bit of how that brutality, of how that chaos is managed by the listener. If the album is just brutal, if the album is just chaotic, it becomes overwhelming. You start to uh, lose yourself within the experience, within the journey of the record, and by the time you get to the end of the album, it becomes almost impossible to, s to tell the forest from the trees. Everything is just one big blur. And that takes away from what the record should be all about. The record should be about the individuality of the tracks, uh, adding pieces to the puzzle, and, and once you reach that end song, you're able to look back and see what those pieces what that puzzle is reflecting, what image is it putting forward. This album gives you that perspective, it gives you that ability. Within all the brutality, within all the chaos, they were able to create pockets within songs that almost take the pressure off. They take the foot off of your neck, you're able to breathe a little bit better, you're able to understand what got you to that point and perhaps what's coming around the corner. And then when you add an interlude and an auto track to have the same sort of essence, the same sort of experience, makes the overall journey more complete, better defined, easier to follow, increases the fluidity of the album, increases the playability of the album, and it's a lot easier for the listener to process, to digest what you've just gone through, what is happening around you. Because this album is not just about where you are within it, but what's happening around you every time you take a step, every time you navigate through the experience, through the journey of going through it. So I really enjoyed the design because it made the experience better for me. It didn't overwhelm the senses. It didn't. It got almost to that point, but every time you were reaching that point, there was a reset button that was pressed. So smart design, smart execution, knowing what you're trying to achieve and then creating the best way possible to achieve it, but still allowing the listener room to grow within that experience. Now, as far as the sound is concerned, you're definitely going to see some black metal elements. You're definitely going to see some death metal elements, but that's not where they're bringing to the table, or at least that's not the only thing they're bringing to the table in order to create that brutality. When you listen to this record, you could feel all the different layers, all the different pieces, uh, all, all the different uh, elements that are coming together to create a very volatile, a very chaotic, a very big sounding album. This album has a massive footprint is not restricted. There are walls, but those walls are not necessarily defining the shapes of what the sound is all about. The sound on this record always feels like it's traveling, but it doesn't thin out. It always feels thick, it always feels big, it always feels brutal, it always feels powerful. Even in the moments of self-reflection that the record has sound-wise, even in those moments, there's still this feeling of heaviness on top of you. Now, the heaviness is not because the sound is heavy, because the sound is the complete opposite of heavy, but it's the emotion that that sound carries. The experience, the atmosphere that that sound is trying to create is what's adding brutality, is what's adding heaviness. So it's a very interesting album sound-wise, because it never loses its brutality, even though it's pulling that brutality from different starting points, from different shapes, from different elements. Really well-crafted from that perspective. Sometimes you feel like the layers are perfect with one another. The songs feel together, they feel in unison, they feel so cohesive and balanced. And sometimes the brutality that exists, the chaos that exists within those layers, doesn't allow them to gel with one another. So it, it almost feels like the songs are breaking apart. There's this nucleus, and this nucleus is becoming so volatile that it's starting to break at the seams. And when it starts to break at the seams, it makes the tracks feel even more brutal, even heavier, even more aggressive. So it's an album that feels like a living organism from the first to the last song. It breathes, it moves, it has a heartbeat, and you definitely descend into a lot of darkness as you progress through this record, even though there are some pockets of light, but that light always feels in the distance. It, it always gives you a sense of, of hope, but a hope that's perhaps very hard to obtain. 
in that sense of not being able to obtain what's just at your grasp also adds brutality to the sound, to the experience, to the atmosphere. Great record from a sound point of view. Now within that sound, there's two elements that play a massive role in this experience. The drums and guitars. The drums on one hand have a phenomenal sound from start to finish. Very balanced in terms not just what you're getting from the sound, but the execution of the guitars and the impact that they have on every single track. You could always tell where the song is going by how the drums sound and by how they're coming across. I'm a huge fan of the drums throughout this entire record. They feel so connected with the experience and they allow to feel, uh, for you to feel connected with that same experience because they're a little bit of the bridge that brings you into this chaotic world. On the guitar side, I love the guitar sound as well. I like the power, I like the melodies. I really like all the swerving that the guitars give you. This is a record that perhaps while the drums are more balanced and more cohesive, the guitars create a lot more volatility, they create a lot more movement, and they're not always intertwined or blending in with everything else that is around it. The only thing I would say that lacks on this record from a guitar standpoint is that I would like to see a little bit more of technicality coming through. There are some moments you're, where you feel like you're at the cusp. You're almost gonna move from a brutal death metal sounding record into a more technical death metal sounding album. It took you all the way to the door, but it didn't open the door, not even a little bit. It left you wanting it, but it didn't deliver it. And I feel like an album like this, an album that has these sort of characteristics, that has this sort of brutality, this sort of chaos, could be even better defined with some moments of technicality coming in from the guitars to create different shapes, to create a different aroma that, that allows you to better understand the journey that you're on and all the steps that you need to take in that path throughout that journey. Vocally, the album is super balanced. What you get in the beginning is gonna be exactly what you're gonna get all the way throughout. In terms of the harshness, the delivery, that obviously changes from song to song and even within songs themselves because it all depends on where you are, the momentum that you're in, the, the, the lyrical content, what you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to tell. So there are some nuances from track to track and within tracks, but overall there's a sense of consistency. And when you look back at the end of the record, I think you can see that the vocals stay very grounded, very connected. It's the linear line that blends in across almost every single track and keeps things moving and keeps things a little bit together, uh, allowing that chaos to not really uh, permeate into the vocal performance and just staying on the periphery. All around this is a kind of different death metal album that I was expecting coming in. It's a death metal album for the refined listener. If you're coming in just looking for heavy, brutality, chaos, anger, aggression, blast beats, over the top guitars and incredibly uh, deep uh, howling and growling vocals, you're gonna get some of that, but that's not what really the essence of this album is all about. This is a more defined or refined album from that perspective. You have to come to this record expecting to learn something about the sound and about yourself at the same time. You can really have a very thick, brutal sounding record without necessarily having the album always moving in the same direction at the same speed. This album proves the point. There's a lot of things that you can change and there's a lot of things that can be brutal without necessarily hitting the, uh, the standing definition of what brutal death metal is all about. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Morning Dirge. Uh, a broad sound experience is the best way to describe how this song moves. There is brutality, but that brutality moves the sound very wide but it never thins out at the edges or in the middle. It stays consistent. It doesn't matter how wide the song gets, the thickness of the track stays exactly the same. And that adds a sense of movement. That makes the song feel larger, bigger, almost overpowering your senses at times, becoming very hard to digest or to peel the layers in it because of that brutality, because of that thickness of sound, because of that movement that it offers. It has almost this single experience approach. The vocals are very consistent, very heavy, very powerful, matching the soundscape. The drums sound phenomenal. They become the foundation of this track. Everything else really sits on top of it. And where the chaos exists is right on top of those drums. The drums stay a little bit outside the pocket in order to create the necessary foundation for the song to not completely fall apart at the seams. It almost feels like the ocean, the tide in the ocean. This song has movement, it has up and down movement, but it also has lateral movement. But once again, never losing its thickness, never losing its definition. 
Next you have venerate, uh, a track that morphs, a track that grows, a track that, that adds to itself within itself. It never really stays singular. It never really stays linear. It doesn't offer just one single approach. It offers you different ways of going at it or approaching it or digesting it or appreciating it. It feels more like a living organism. It feels like it has a heartbeat, it has a little bit of a soul. It feels more organic from that perspective. Is a track that has a ton of chaos in it, but that chaos is life. That chaos is not blank space. It's not a black hole in space. The chaos on this track feels like the birth of life. And in, in that birth, there is chaos that exists. There is volatility because you don't really know what kind of life is going to come from it. And that not knowing that is also brutal in a certain degree. So I really like the sense uh, of, of what this track offers. It feels like a monster, like you're giving birth. You're Dr. Frankenstein, you're giving birth to a new monster. You're not really sure what you're getting until you get there. That's the kind of track that comes across here. Last but not least, Observer to Master. Uh, the vocals push this track forward. Everything else is behind it, and it's perhaps pushing the vocals forward, but you always get hit with the vocals first, and that what gives you the sense of movement. That's what creates a lot of the ebbs and flows that this track has, because the ebbs and flows are also there in the sound, but they allow the vocals to really kind of define them a little bit better, create more uh, uh, of a, I don't know, create more of a, a sense of, of not just going up and down, but going up and down with definition, with different elements. The vocals define what the sound is doing and the sound is pushing the vocals forward in order for you to get that better definition. The two are intertwined with one another and that's what gives power and strength to how this track comes across. I love the guitars on this song. I love the drums, great bass. There's some great bass on this track that really pops. And then you have great vocals all around. So it's, it's a perfect track from that perspective. You have all of the different pieces working really well individually, but at the same time working really well together. There's some moments of clarity, there's some moments of fog, there's a little bit of everything. This track almost encapsulates what it means to listen to this record from beginning to end. In one single song, they were able to create a synopsis of the sound, of the atmosphere, of the experience. This is it, Wake, Thought Form Descent, out July 22nd on Metal Blade Records. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles, use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.